Hello everybody, this is Havoc and welcome back to Manor Lords in our city of Havocsville. I'm super excited today because we get to do a lot of really fun stuff. We get our first look at some raiders and what that looks like. We get our first chance at hopefully expansion, which we'll look over here before we even get started. Can I just, can I just once again marvel at how good this game looks? Even zoomed out all the way back here. It looks so good. The fall setting is wonderful. This is just such an atmospheric feel. I just can't get over it. I really can't. And I don't think I ever will. And that's totally okay with me. But anyways, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're having a good time with this playthrough. I am having a blast. There's been a couple of updates. We have over here like a low population growth uh, factor. We have uh, just some balances I think that have occurred overall and we are pretty right as rain as far as i see it now we have 114 days until the raiders have come or raiders are coming rather and we just got reports of a bandit camp but i don't know where that bandit camp is because i don't see it anymore let's see if we can't where are you oh you're way out there cool well here's what we're gonna do we're gonna have some fun right off the bat because not only do i now have a unit of spears, I now have an almost full unit of archers. And archers are my absolute favorite unit in this game because they look so daggum good while they're doing their job. So I'm looking forward to that today. I hope you are as well. And in terms of units recruiting, I think the only re our only limitation on having 14 spearmen is simply, mm, I think we need the large shields to accompany them. So I do believe we have that set up already. We have our blacksmith, we have our Fletcher shop, we have our joiner's shop, that's what it is. So we're gonna have focus on large shields. Yep, we have small shields now. That doesn't do us any good at the moment, so we're not going to focus on it there. I don't know that these guys have picked their secondary. They haven't, and that's okay. We're not gonna do that. I do know for sure, hmm, we're gonna have a hard time getting bakeries, so we are gonna have to make a bakery here. Uh, the bakery extension is what you need to have your burgage plots do that. So as much as I would love to, we're not going to be able to. We will have to have a communal oven. And it fits right there, so that's not anything too shabby whatsoever. While we're waiting for those guys to go about uh, their business, we don't have anyone here in the marketplace. And one thing that I've noticed is that uh, marketplaces will definitely double up on everything here. So you'll notice that we have a food stall. We're going to relocate that food stall over to this one. And we will have multiple firewood stalls. Yep, in fact, there's two right next to each other. And so we're just going to move that over there as well. And I do believe there should be, at this point, two clothing stalls. It looks like there's only one, so that's okay. Yeah, that's okay. We'll get, we'll get it rocking and rolling. Do we have a lot of leather? We do have a lot of leather, so there really shouldn't be an excuse as to why they can't do any of this. They need to find a storehouse for excess weapon storage. I see. Uh, we'll be okay for now. I, I really, I'm really okay with that. Uh, now, we don't need to build any more houses because we could house 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 more families. And honestly, these have the extensions. So 13. I don't know if these have the extensions. I don't think they do. We've got room for a lot more families. So I'm not overtly concerned about that. Once we get rid of those guys over here, I do think we're going to end up going into uh, Nuslo. Because, while well, I do like this place, as we mentioned earlier, this is a bit tricky, honestly. So, if we were to go... I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think here. In the other region, we would start completely over. So we don't need any of this. Although, charcoal burning down into deep mining would be beneficial. I don't think we'll actually go into deep mining in the next region. And instead, we'll focus solely on this agricultural side. So, for instance, I would love to be able to get heavy plow and then either bakeries or heavy plow and fertilization, which means we could allow fallow field as a pasture and start focusing more on agricultural things over here, considering look how fertile this place is. I mean, the entire region can almost handle rye which is fun enough as, as, as it is there. So we're gonna move on over. Uh, we will probably approach from the north here. We're gonna have them approach that so we have a good spot for our archers. 
But one of the things I also love, I just love this. I just love the drawing board that comes up, the map style things. It's so much fun. All right, well, we have our mining pit and it's doing good. We have plenty of iron slabs. Now what we probably need to do is I should probably go in and start making, uh, where's my blacksmith? Do we have 23 extra spears? Is that what that is? Because if so, I'm gonna go ahead and start focusing on pole arms because I think that that would be good. We have plenty of timber and plenty of planks as well. We are all set and ready. Now we do need a bit more stone. Am I correct in this? We actually, I don't think we have any stone. We don't have any stone. Now I thought I built a stone block, but it doesn't appear that I did. Stone cutter camp. I don't know that I did. Okay, that's fine. We can get one rolling and that'll all be well and good in the neighborhood. All right, I think we're pretty all right. Let's go ahead and focus on the farmhouse. That'll be the highest priority. And we, I know I said I wasn't going to, but I'm kind of future proofing while we have the material. So this was six houses. I'm still in favor of doing this style. This gets us eight houses, uh, or eight families rather. So we're gonna work on that. Of course, everyone will be uh, having gardens and things. So it's all good there. All right, it's time to kind of just uh, speed up just a wee little bit, I think. Or we could just simply look at the placements here. So I think I really do want these guys right there. And then we're going to place our archers right here on the hill. All right, so uh, I guess ironically enough, hilariously enough, I have my spearmen on, on just regular walk. So they are going to kind of book it to get here just to act as a defensive force. I am going to have them stand their ground 100%. And they'll get here. I mean, they're taking their sweet little time. Come on. I know you're tired. I know you're tired. But this is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. I know they're covered in bushes, but that's some good cover just in general. Oh my word. Get wrecked. We gotta go after them. I need to make sure that they don't get attacked. There we are. Brilliant. Brilliant. Go ahead and go after these guys. Go after the bandit camp. You guys are utterly exhausted, so I do want you to run as quickly as you can to get back there. You'll recover quickly enough. And then we have raiders coming in 103 days. So we got all of that to be concerned about. Not that I am concerned. I think we can definitely take them on. I think we do have to just be a little bit cautious and figure all of that stuff out as we get there. And the large shields should help. If we can get two more units, or two full units, rather, I think everything will be just peachy. We're running a little low on our supplies, our timber supplies. We do have pretty much the, not the maximum amount of people, I do want to make sure that we have like lots of reserves for timber and we'll go ahead and employ this one for for the next time too and then i guess the real question is do we really want to boost into regional wealth or not when it comes to dispelling these boyos as we sort of dig into winter now we do have plenty of fuel to get us through and we do have plenty of food to get us through so that's not a problem well done lads uh i do think we'll go ahead and send resources to the nearest town I think that'll be the best benefit for us. And then what we could do, I think it's time to start establishing trade. Cool. We're going to export those once they get over 30. We'll sell those for five bucks a pop. I'm trying to think what we need to import to really get this place leveled up to the next space. And I do think it actually is going to be a great deal of links. So I am importing at six times the price of exporting. I don't feel like that's right. I don't feel like that's right at all. I have a, I have a bit of a hard time agreeing with that structure. Hmm. Yeah, I don't, I don't agree with that whatsoever. <laughs> I think uh, that should be changed just a little bit. What I want to do today is I want to build a Dagon Manor, but like I can't even do the basics of that at the moment. So we'll have to get it figured out. Once again, winter is setting in, seriously. This is hands down one of my favorite transitions in any game that I've ever seen before. 
Hey, it just you. looks no so good. Off. I don't know why this particular house is getting all the snow. But we are seeing things move. We are seeing things progress. This is our first winter with the with the temple. With the church. So that's pretty cool to see as well. But it's time to harvest all of them goods, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to harvest them goods. Now, I don't see winter hitting us very difficult at, at all. Uh, so that's a real positive. One of the things I did want to check out. We have a small flax field that I do think we're going to take advantage of. We're going to use up this whole entire area. Uh, let's go... Yeah, this whole space could become a really good spot. Uh, and we may just go ahead and build... Let's see. Yeah, there's there's all sorts of things we could do here. We may build two farmhouses. For all my focus on, on you know, not doing farming hardcore and instead of doing it over here. What we definitely don't want to do is we don't want to establish a new place over here during the winter that just doesn't make sense uh and while i do want to level these people up and give them some flax i do think we kind of have to see how all of this performs first before we go and do anything crazy so maybe we won't maybe i'm getting a little too ambitious but for now there's not a whole lot to do we're gonna fast forward into a moment in time that is a little more prepared and a little better for us overall. We'll see you in just a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time. We have bandits way out there in the front lines. Way out there in enemy territory as well. All right, we have two of them. Bring it on. Bring it on, bring it on. I am fully and totally equipped for you guys to come in. Once they cross kind of this barrier here i think will be okay we are going to super fast forward time just because it does take a while now admittedly it's been just a little bit of a minute because there's not been a lot that's gone on uh, but that's okay we are going to go ahead we're going to meet them out here on the open battlefield oh it'd be cool to go here i don't know if we have enough time if we can and fight by the old windmill that'd be awesome but it's the perfect time pantry is full Oh my. Oh my. Okay, that works for me. We do have quite a few uh, bit of goods there, so that's awesome. We also, in the interim, started, uh, finally had enough, uh, not wealth, but enough promotion to where we could start pushing families into our farmhouse. We now have an almost full farmhouse. So farm production will get started very, very soon. And then, yes, this is perfect. Although, oh... Can you imagine fighting right here? Oh, the total war inside of me is just drooling over that prospect. But regardless, I do think fighting over here it, it has some equal measure. If we could get right here, that would be even more awesome. What I don't want is I don't want my soldiers too terribly wiped. But I do think that if we could get our spear boys right here and our archer boys right here, these guys don't really stand a chance. Now, admittedly, I could also, I think, recruit some mercenaries. But I really don't want to do that right now. Uh, this is the first time some of you may have seen the mercenary things as well. So this is what the mercenary things look like. Some light mercenary archers. Actually, it's two units of archers. But it would be $45 a month. We're not in the position to be able to afford that. And again, I don't think it's super duper necessary. All right, here we go. So they are quite weary. But I do know that we can uh, totally let them rest and they'll be good to go there. We're going to go ahead and line them right along the road. I feel like a lot of skirmishes in the past were, were based on such small, tiny little areas like a road and a small hill. And that's why I really love this game. It's because we're simulating or small scale warfare. And while these guys are definitely going to try and come in and do some dirty work. I feel like we got them in the bag pretty solidly. And we just need to wait. Are they coming out of the woodworks? They are coming out of the woodwork. We're going to be a little more strained. 
That tree is not ideal, but at the same time, I think it'll be fine. Laddies? Actually, what we're going to do is we are going to go defensive again. And then we're just going to let the battle happen. Oh my word, it looks so good. Everybody drawing at once. Draw it once again, lads. Don't let these raid raiders uh, deter you from your mission. Oh, it just looks so fantastic. All right, as much as I want to see this go down like this, we need to provide some flanking. We need to make sure that our own men aren't wrecked and rather that we can get that right there since they're all kind of sucked in. And then I think once they get to that position, this is where the real fun begins. Line up, men. Line up. Oh, that's that's a dirty formation. All right. While you guys figure that out, we have our spear militia going in here. There we go. Oh, my word. Does this just not look amazing? Do they both retreat, or is it just one of them? There we go. Okay, they're getting ready. Brilliant. Brilliant. Very minimal losses. There you go. There you go. All right. Well done, lads. I mean, y'all just, just straight up did it. You're mad. Well, that was relatively easy. I enjoyed that quite a bit. Archers, man. They just really add a whole life of their own. And I love everything about it. All right. So we have the potential for one of these to be on. Okay. These guys are on. So once it's time for crop rotation, to, or once it's time for them to start working on, they should be able to. And we are going to dedicate an a single oxen to our cause uh, over here because I think that is just absolutely necessary we're gonna go ahead and upgrade as well and then we'll be good now one of the other things I wanted to do that I think we should totally do even if on a small scale here I think we have to get into pastures as well because we do need another level of of clothing and so that is going to be uh, yarn and I think we could totally do that and make it work for us. So we do need to go down into farming. We're going to head into our pasture. And we're going to make just a small one for now. Um, well, how big can we make it is, I guess, the ultimate question. Pasture space 59. Okay. Now, one thing I do wish, and I know um, a few others have mentioned this as well. Like, I kind of wish there was a process of cutting all of that down and making that work for us. Rather than just like, oh yeah, cool, yeah, we'll just it's just all automatically gone. I think that's a really good idea. I like that a whole lot. Um, so maybe it'll happen in the future where it's a little more of a process. Rather than just a straight up like, oh yeah, totally, we just, we're done. It's just there. So we need to have to build a trading post and we also have to build... Is it going to let me? I want to be on this side, but maybe not. We also have to build a sheep farm. In order for our laddies and lasses to be able to go in and do their job effectively. We are still going to push more people into the farmhouse. And again, they're just going to be right there. Alright, I'm wondering, like, it's, it's your time. Go do that. Maybe not. Okay. Alright, you do you, I guess. Okay. Now what we have to do is, I assume our saw pit is, it is not, it is not totally uh, used, uh, or full, rather. We're at 89% on top of it, and regional wealth is doing great. So we're going to use our regional wealth to jumpstart our pastures. And then what we're going to do is we will have our livestock trading post, we will have our sheep farm. Our sheep farm will produce, it produces wool which then in our industry, 
Okay, workers use wool to produce yarn, and that's what we need. So we're gonna kind of set up our own little, uh, our own little mini industrial sector here. But it is, I mean, almost solely focused on the production of uh, non-pollutants, uh, I guess you could say. Whereas this is like dirty work over here at the charcoal kiln and the bloomery and the tannery and stuff. It's what I would call dirty industries. Uh, these are a lot more clean. And I think that's a really, really positive thing. Uh, but it does seem like almost uh, or everyone has moved in here, which is good. And we do have a lot of space here, but I do just really feel that pressure to start expanding more in this area to make things work for us. But maybe I'm just being a little too ambitious. What I'm not being ambitious about is it is now spring. And we now have the ability to settle a camp. Oh, we got to claim the region first. Could have claimed this a long time ago. I'm a goofball for not doing that, and that's okay. And then we honestly make claim this region too and the reason being this region also does have some great fertility but it does also have an, an iron deposit that we could really work on all right well not much left to do for the time being am i right okay i thought that was a plot level two yeah, no, we definitely need to work on upgrading our church when the time comes. We need 10 tiles for that. We can do that soon. But claiming this is much more important than starting our second area. Oh, and disbanding those guys. All right. Well, there we go. That was incredibly loud. Apologies if that freaked you guys out. We now have two more of our regions claimed. So we now have expanded from one to three. And also... We got our little uh, heavy plow pushing up the hill to get this all said and done. Now, I don't think this is actually going to end up working out for us. It's already April and they haven't planted a daggum thing. That's okay. It is what it is. I'm not going to complain about it whatsoever. If we don't get wheat this year, we'll get it next year. But more importantly, over here. Now, what I want to do is I want to do a little bit of pre-planning because I need to make sure that we're good here. Now we will have to start completely over, so we'll start with the same setup, getting some wild animals, some berries going, getting logs going and things of that nature. But outside of that, it can remain largely uh, unique in that I can set this up almost solely for farming. Like that's what we're gonna do right off the bat. We'll establish ourselves, but overall, it really doesn't seem like we have any issues i think we're gonna build our 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 farming hub right here and then this is where we'll start expanding out and doing other things so we want to establish our tent i don't know like somewhere right over here all right this is really cool so we have different types of villages that we can make uh, this will kind of be fleshed out later on in early access i imagine and it appears I can only do modest. I have the ability to claim. Oh, no, I don't. So maybe it would be different. Uh, yeah, we'll definitely do modest. That's fine with me. Uh, because there are, to be clear, there are no other bandit camps. Am I correct? Yeah, man, I really wish the bandit camps would come in. I don't know what's up with that. But let's go ahead and confirm it. Boom. And we're going to rename this... Uh, Nexusville. Actually, we'll name it Nexusville Law. <laughs> no, we'll do Nexusville. Uh, simply because Nexus is the uh, largest supporter on the channel and has been forever. So we will definitely give him uh, a title worthy of what it is. And now we can go ahead and establish all the things that we did in these uh, in the very beginning. We need a logging camp. We need a woodcutter's lodge. We're going to need... Uh, hunters and foragers which we will probably go ahead and just wait is there already a oh shoot there's already a road that's okay that that actually works so we're gonna go ahead and alt remove that road because there is already one that goes through it perfect brilliant yeah I know we're we're, we're inundated by some heavy rains uh, we're actually gonna yeah push in between here 
yeah, I just think this whole area is where we're, we're wanting to be. So we are going to build, like, our storehouse. And our granary, just kind of, like, right next to each other. And then how much do we have? We have no wood. That's a little bit of a problem. Uh, but we'll get it, we'll get it rocking and rolling. Alright, cool. So now that they have their orders... Where is the hitching post? The hitching post is right there. We are going to go ahead and order another one. But again, regional wealth. This is this region's wealth. This is our wealth over here. Oh, no, there's a fire. Oh, crap. Please put out that fire. Put it out. Put it, put it out, please. And, ma'am, why are you carrying a shield? That's not going to help you. Oh, no, this house is gone. This house is done, though. They're trying. I mean... They tried. They genuinely tried their hardest. And I also think it's slightly hilarious that this house burned down in the midst of a rainstorm. And unfortunately, we've lost a goat. He was the goat. And he is no more. I love the chickens. Alright, and then we're just going to pretend like that never happened? Is that what we're doing? Wait, are they going to automatically rebuild? Look at them. They're just going to automatically rebuild. Well, thank you for that. Okay, Nexus Villa is already running out of food. How are they already running out of food? Oh, those rains really wrecked them, didn't it? That's okay. Okay, so what we need to do... We're going to prioritize that. We're going to prioritize berry picking as well. And then we'll be good there. And in fact, I am going to build... And we'll decide what to do with that when the time comes. Yeah, if these guys can build up quickly, that would be great. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You will survive, I promise. Now, over here, it's still looking great. I still don't see us being able to do anything. Uh, it seemed like they were a little delayed in getting people to the places and the stuff and the things. So, that is quite unfortunate. It's also quite unfortunate. That we don't have saw pit fully up and functioning. Or I guess they're just soaking up so many, aren't they? Is there a way to disable... I'm wondering if there's a way to disable production. I don't think there is. And that's kind of a, a little bit of a bummer right now. Because I want them to stop. And this is where I think like a production system would be the would see the most benefit. I mean, you see it in things like RimWorld, or you see it in, like, Clan Folk, which is another one of Hooded Horses games, where you can set a production limit, and it only makes until X. Uh, I think that's a pretty crucial thing right now, because, for instance, I really, really, really want to make my manor. I cannot make my manor because I don't have planks. And I don't have planks because I have a Fletcher shop making some, and I have a joiner shop also using up my planks. So I just want to be like, I want a way to disable it. And I don't think there is a way to disable right now. I could find out. Just don't know if it is. But here we go. Our farmers are sowing now. Which is all well and good. We have upgraded our th guy here. So we're going to order another cattle. And how are these guys doing on this side? Let's go ahead and start rolling. Hunting camp still needs its goods. They'll be okay. I promise they'll be okay. Unfortunately, I can't even move them. Because I do think it takes uh, takes some stuff. What we do have over here. Do we have uh, more families moving in? They are unassigned. Brilliant. We have farmers there. That's great. We have two unassigned people. Move one there. We do need that kind of prioritized as well. The Weaver Workshop is great. But I do need me a livestock trading post before I can do anything. So, are we sewing? Uh, get it? Instead of how we going? Uh, let's go ahead and uh, see just how we are really doing. Hello there, lads and ladies. Don't want to leave the ladies out. Summer is coming soon trotting over here so you make sure that you're you're sewing properly seem a little haphazard uh, 
that's that's a fair that's a fair technique. I understand it. One thing I do enjoy is just how uh, how colorful things are. This isn't your typical drab uh, medieval setting. Yes, I know, George. You've said that already. Okay, can you can you come up? Can you please stop? Hmm. But look at this view. Can you imagine having a farm? Medieval time period, and this is just the view that you get to work with every day. One of my favorite lines in the game. Month old grass. Oxen tried to uh, carve him a new nipple. But I mean, just seriously. That view is so good. Oh my word, I love it. Alright, let's get out of that. And let's see how our peeps over here are doing. Alright, we do have a forager's hut. That's going to be helpful. We do have... We're going to get hunting as well. And they are already working on timber. So we are going to move our hitching post. We are going to relocate it closer to these guys. Now that does take one wood. And we do end up... Actually do need to have like the storehouse. And the uh, warehouse done. Because that is going to be absolutely crucial. Then over here, ooh, a bandit camp was sighted. Brilliant. Hello, lad. How you doing? Uh, I honestly think we could probably take these guys with just the spears or just the archers. I just love archers so much. I just really, really do. But we'll go ahead and uh, we'll shoot our spears over there for the time being. And you can see they're almost full as well. I do have quite a few pole arms don't know if we'll end up using them or not though all right uh, we're not gonna do anything with those guys here I know that they aren't very happy with us right now I understand fully uh, and then what we are going to do we're gonna do the same thing over here that we did back yonder okay that would be good enough but I want it to be a little more straight good house there that can fit two families and this one doesn't have to be as intense but it can have double the space let's actually make that just a little bit skinnier there we go this does have the backyard extension just wanting to make sure brilliant okay so that's gonna house Four families all said and done. So that's going to be, you know, most of our population there. And, yeah. Overall, really, really happy with how everything's going. We have plenty of firewood and charcoal. We have six months of fuel. Thirteen months of food. We're sowing. The crop growth, they're going to be... Is it going to be ready in 119 days? I don't think it is. But man, these rains are relentless, let me tell you. But, at the same time, they look fantastic. Like, that's the thing. Oh, this just looks so daggum good. We got our peeps over here. I love the idea of having just smaller areas that are all semi-connected as well. That's just a super cool, a super cool feature that we get to, get to really, really revel in. All right, once again, it's the whole plank system, so we may end up having planks coming in over here. Family request more market for their stalls. Oh, yeah, let's do that. These don't have to be very big for now. I mean, obviously, more than four would be nice. There we go. Then we'll build you another space over here for sure. We're going to make you have the highest. We're going to make you have the second highest. And we still have another set. So we're going to go ahead and expand. Actually, no, we're going to wait to upgrade. Uh, I think that's the smart thing, to expand the housing rather than build more housing. All right. All is well and good. I don't have any complaints right now. We're going to let things roll just a little bit. Because again, we're kind of in an interim space where we really, really just need to uh, kind of chill and assess things as we get to them. All right. 
Ooh, before I go. Yes. Uh, I need sheepses. I'm going to say I want 20 sheep. There we go. We have someone working in the sheep farm. We need someone in the weaver workshop, so we are going to go ahead and put someone there. But outside of that, Mr. Oxen, are you supposed to be in there? I think you're supposed to be in there. Going back to rest. Well, good luck with that. All right. Well, we're going to import some sheeps. We're going to have a good time. Be back in a little bit. All right. We've got another bandit camp. This time on the outskirts. Oh, no. Wait. <laughs> oh, no. These guys. Oh, these guys have been sitting here for a long time. Oh, my word. I goofed up. That's one of the funnier things about this game is that, like, there's no real indication that you have units uh, ready to just, like, hang out and go fight. This is not the first time that I've just left my units here. Um, so. <laughs> uh, poor guys. We are going to push them. This should be an easy battle for us. We're basically at the point, not that we're unstoppable, because we are not by any definition of the term. But we do have a pretty powerful army just by having two full units. And I do feel like with a large number of spear militia, we start wearing these brigands down a lot faster. Which allows them to break a lot easier as well, as you just saw. Hmm, where would this go to? I think it belongs in my treasury. And then we'll be able to, to move along into there. Now over here in Havocsville, we are, or Nexusville, rather. Uh, we are doing okay. Like, we're actually doing pretty good. They're, they're starting to move into their spaces. You, nope, okay, nope, that, okay, nope. We have to have the right people in the right places. Where's the house? There it is. It's just so heavily wooded, which, again, looks great and realistic. So, like, big props there. So we're going to get you there. And we are going to get you there. It just makes the most sense. I don't want to build another thing because I'm working on building another hitching post. And then once this gets finished, we'll be able to assign the other populations here. Which, by default though, if I do this, then it should be people who will end up living in this space. In theory, of course. But now we have the opportunity to expand more. Hmm, yeah, I like that because it's just the earlier construction costs, but at the same time, there is no difference between this and this, except for maybe specialization, which we may get into eventually, but I think in this case, uh, we're good to put those plots there. All right, there we go. Woodcutter and firewood cutter. Awesome. Great. Fantastic. We have six months of fuel, six months of food. We're in a really good spot now. Homelessness should go away eventually. Hunger should go away pretty daggum fast. Oh, we need a... A Nexusville is not running out of it. Just calm yourself down, please. We need to build a well. Simple enough. Easy enough. Is there another water flow that runs through here? Where are my... There we go. We'll just uh, put it right there. Call it good. Very nice. All right. No, we are in a very awesome spot. Everyone should be hunky-dory over there in Nexus. I love the uh, the T to snapshot between two different places. I think that works really, really well. Uh, excuse me, sir. Oh, outside of its home region. Oh, okay. Well, there you go, boyo. All right. Now, we are 67 days away. From those guys that's great are these people unassigned they are brilliant we now have a full farmhouse and we still have all of these areas still left to go that's really nice to see i love that i love seeing all of that space they are getting wool rocking they actually don't have any yarn made yet but that's okay i am interested to know where wool is stored there's wool, okay, and then yarn's right underneath it. All right, good deal. Uh, we definitely can afford this. You can see that they're buying uh, sheep slowly but surely. And it's just going straight into here. Eventually, I'd love to have a really solid, um, really solid pasture going on here. 
I love it. It's so cool. Another thing that we can do that I haven't really focused on yet, by the way, we can build a forester's hut. And this is literally what it sounds like. We can regenerate all of these forests a lot faster if we wanted to. And I think that would be a really positive thing to do. Overall. And yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Now that we have... Where are these guys? There they are. I am going to go ahead and build uh, a Uno pull arms. And look at that. We're already at like 22 out of 20 out of 36. That's awesome. Now, the thing is, too, they kind of split a little bit. They kind of make this a little even as possible. And that's good. I, I actually really enjoy that aspect of the game. That it isn't just like super duper uneven. And then what we're going to do, I think we're going to build... This has been on my mind for a while. But I do think we're going to build a small set of houses right here. Almost just like, you know, some of those that are maybe a little more pious. Get uh, a little closer access to God. That is complete irony for those of you who need to know. Alright, there is something about being right here that the game does not like. It doesn't mind that. But anything else, it did not really like what I just put down. That's fine. We're going to do that right there. This might turn into a pasture or something like that. I don't really know. Uh, there's the forester's hut. We're going to have an unlimited work area. He's just going to have free reign over the entire region to just remake all of the forests and all the spaces. Um, and over here. Okay, we're working. We're working on it. It's all good. You can see market food varieties already ticked up as well, so we'll be able to see some positive growth. And then, it's just a manner of getting people in. But, like, I don't even want to get into third-person mode for this. But just look how, look how good this looks. I mean, these people are, like, in the thick of the forest. This is the life right here. This is the life. This is the life that I am all about. Whoa. Is just chilling in the forest. No distractions, no sounds. Outside of the wonderful rain. Oh, things are getting soaked. That's okay. We still need people to, uh, to work it. Uh, we, yeah. We, yeah. Alright, what's going on here? There are no clothing stalls. Now, is there another clothing stall that got installed here? Food? Firewood, firewood, clothing. Are there two clothings? There are two clothings. Hey, you. Oi. There we go. All right, very nice. We're doing great. Like, this is super duper cool. Uh, what do we got going on here? Crop growth's at 28%. Harvest in 45 days. We're slowly bringing in more sheep, which means we have access to yarn. Heck, yes. Now, these guys need better food. I don't know why, though. Come along, lot. Their food and clothing should be perfectly figured out. I mean, that's kind of on you. In my opinion. That's alright. We're going to let the game play for just a little bit longer. I'd like to get through the harvest season. And then we'll call it a good day. Mm, maybe we will. I'm not sure. We'll see how it happens. Well, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. And it's harvest season. Now, there is, I think, kind of a little bit of a graphical bug. Where you can't see them actually harvesting... It just doesn't show up, but I guarantee you, as you can see right there, that it is there. So that's good. We're going to have our first harvest. And hopefully it goes flipping flapping great. I know we don't have all the time in the world to make it work. But we can see that all the families, I believe at some point, all get involved. So there's going to be a lot of people. There's essentially should be like 16 plus people. Uh, I think it should be more. I think it's three people per family. 
So we should have 24 people rocking and rolling for us. And that will just look great. Start getting that aspect of the uh, of the settlement going. And it just, oh my word. Like, doesn't that just, that's just such a good shot. I, I can't stop gawking at this, at this game. Because it just looks so daggum good. My word. Alright. What? Nexusville. Nope. There we go. Alright, Nexusville. Well done. Five burgers plots. We're already rocking and rolling. So again, we're going to automatically go down to heavy plow. Because I would love to do fertilization. Boom. Fertile plow. Or heavy plow, rather. <laughs> Because that is just the best thing that we can have happen to us. Now, in terms of wealth, we don't have any. We can no longer, like, push these things, which is fine. That's not an issue. Uh, we do need to work on a church and getting some clothing already done. But that does involve doing things that we just don't have access to, which is primarily uh, wealth. And now, what we could do is we could go after these guys and kind of force a battle. I really don't feel like it, and I actually don't have the influence to push that claim. What we do have is uh, the ability to kind of expand a bit. We are going to go ahead and build a few more burgage plots uh, in and around this space. Simply because I, I'm just going to like stupid future proof. Oh, that looks incredibly awkward. I'm almost wondering if we shouldn't do like an estate here. Something like that. And then give people... We are going to be so focused on agriculture here. But I do just want to make sure that everyone's kind of like making themselves as useful as possible. Yeah, see, there's no difference there, in my opinion. Maybe a bigger plot will help. There we go. Cool. All right, well, we are going to, like, future-proof this place up. And we got them hunting wild animals, hopefully, like, mad. The approval rating is going up. We just had some homelessness and hunger issues. We don't have that issue anymore. So I don't see, see that as being uh, super detrimental. Over on this front, though, let's go ahead and speed up just a little bit so you can see kind of what they're going to do. They're loading things up. They're going to drop off all of this. They're going to turn it into grain. And then that grain should get transported straight over to the windmill. Straight over to the windmill. Maybe not. Interesting, that actually didn't produce much results. I expected a bit more. There we go. And then once they get that grain, they'll bring it over into the communal oven and we will have bread soon. And then I think they're actually gonna go ahead and they're gonna be plowing again. They shouldn't plow this one again. But what they should be doing is they should be starting to plow. Hmm. I wonder if the, the seasons are just a wee bit off or something like that. I think that may be sort of the case here. And then no one's moving in here. That's understood. We still have a lot of... Uh, we just have a lot of space to expand. And I think that's pretty darn good. All right. What we need to do is we need to get out of here. Long story short. Uh, Havoxville is doing great. Nexusville just upgraded itself. And it has a lot of room for aggressive expansion. Yes, indeed it does. Uh, to the point where I think I am going to go ahead and... plop a farmhouse here. And then in the next episode, we'll start laying out some fields. Actually, I don't want it right there. I want the farmhouse, like, right here. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. And then we'll start laying out some fields for some expansion ideas over there. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Saving finished. 
Hope that you enjoyed it. We are experiencing some great growth and a lot of really fun things are starting to go down. If you enjoyed the uh, video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments in the comment section down below. Thank you so much to our members, especially Nexus. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, go over here and rename this one. Actually, I guess afterwards. Yeah, we'll worry about it next time. Thank you so much. This is Havoc. See you in the next one.